Hey YouTubers, it's me, Edward Thing. And I know you guys want answers why I don't play at Tom's really more. Well, stick around to find out. Okay YouTubers, now that I'm here with you guys, let me tell you the truth about Tom's World. Tom's World Tiller here in Davao to be exact. Now, basically, the claw machines, there are two rig now, that's why I can't and don't want to play there anymore. That's one reason, because there's actually another reason for that. But let me just give you guys a quick recap, like from the very beginning. As you know, Tom's World was my first ever arcade to make official videos with. Yeah, so I've won a lot there before my first official 1,000 views was in Tom's World. That was my favorite arcade before Tap and Play opened. The guard was my friend. The old guard was my friend. The lady who arranged the toys was my friend. The people after that who arranged the toys there were my friends. Everyone were my friends there. Now, after a few months, because of course, you know, the staff usually are contractual after six months. You know, the staff were different now, and the management was different now, everything was different. So, new management, new rules, new staff, new attitudes, everything was new. And then it came to the point that you can't arrange the toys that you want anymore, and you can't, you know, pick the arrangement, even though that you're not satisfied. They still would not arrange it the way you want. And then the payout rates were higher from 20 tokens, it becomes 60 tokens for you to win. Everything was difficult. And everything everything or almost all the claw machines were rigged there were only a few kids playing more adults were playing and not even the claw machine more on the fish game the prizes there weren't that good anymore no new stop so yeah that's basically why i stopped playing there but there is another reason because last tuesday i went there i tried to record this new guard wearing a white shirt told me that I can't record her anymore and I asked why. They said it's because they saw my blog about Tom's World of me winning many prizes there and doing some double press hacks and arrangement hacks. And I'd say I was pretty pissed off because I play there to take videos there and now they're saying me I can't do it anymore. And after that, the guard, after the guard told me I can't do that, I didn't want to play, and the guard keeps staring me like this. Yeah, like that. So it was really weird. Yeah, they just, they allowed me to play. Just to clarify, I can't record, but I can still play there. So that was nice. So they don't want me to post videos of me winning, they don't want me to post videos that I do ar arcade tricks or hacks to win. Yeah, so that was it. You know, the funny thing is, it's legal for you to arrange the toys. It's even written in every claw machine. It's legal for you to double press because it's an option. If it's not legal, there should be a sign there and they shouldn't turn on the double press feature. And, and there was one video, the one video that I used a magnet, that was actually, you know, controlled, like I said in the video description. Yeah, I gave the toy back, I, there was also a disclaimer that that was cheating, and the staff, that the girl who used to arrange the claw machines back then, and the boys that used to arrange the claw machine back then, they knew that I had a magnet, and I gave all the toys back after those vi after the video itself. Yeah, so I haven't cheated. Everything was legal. I'm an honest person. Yeah. 
Now, the reason why I'm saying this to you guys is not because I'm telling you to stop stop going to Tom's World. No, 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 no. The reason why I'm telling you this is because you guys need answers, okay? I care about you guys. I care about my viewers in YouTube because, you know, there was a time where I had a problem and in my latest video I felt stressed and a lot of you helped me go through that. Thank you so much, YouTube family, by the way. Now, I have to say Tom's World and other cities are great, like the one in Moa. If you don't like the arrangement, the staff will make you personally arrange it for yourself. They will open the claw machine and I can arrange the toys any way I want. So it's, it was pretty cool. The one in Cebu Bay, don't let you arrange it by yourself. The staff arrange it, arranges it for you, but the arrangements were great. Here, they are more strict. Yeah. So basically, they it looked like they try they're doing their best not 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 to let us win their machine, especially with the high payout thing. Yeah, so there are only a few kids playing there now, more on adults play there now, and if you get one it's because of payout. You can't do it by skill anymore. Well you can if you get lucky. So for me, now that I think about it, it's okay that I can't record there anymore. Yeah, because I don't even want to play there anymore because of their new rules, claw machines being rigged, yeah. But if you want to play there and give their claw machines a can give their claw machines a chance, go for it. Yeah, I'm sure it's still fun to, you know, play arcade games there, but when it comes to claw machines, yeah, I think I'll pass. Yeah. And this is coming from a claw machine YouTuber here. And like I said, if you want a skill-based claw machine, if you want to play in the best arcade here in Davao, if you want to win so many toys from the claw machine, play in Tap and Play. That's my favorite arcade now. Yeah, and the owner, the staff, they're very nice. I... I I really like the owner. The owner of Tap and Play is the owner of NCC, so so it was good. I was even there at its opening. I get to meet their arcade owner, yeah. But I'll tell you the story of that in the next video. So as of now, I already told you guys that that story of why I don't play in Tom's Wortley more. So just to clarify, if you want to play there, go ahead and play. But for me, I decided not to play for anymore. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate everything. And good luck in the arcade. See ya.